Assalamu alaikum and welcome back once again to Today in African History with Baba Shaka. I'm Baba Shaka and today is July 15, 2021 and it is the anniversary of the largest and most comprehensive freedom uprising organized in these here yet to be United States. Denmark Vesey was an African born in St. Thomas, which at that time was a Caribbean colony of Denmark. His birth name was Telemach, and he was born in 1767. He was then purchased by a slave merchant named Joseph Vesey when he was just 14 years old. And Vesey sold his enslaved young brother to a farmer in Saint-Domingue, but he was later returned to Vesey because he was suffering from fits. Now, some accounts say that he might actually have been suffering from epilepsy, whereas other re records say that he was pretending to have fits so that he could be returned to his former master and not have to suffer harsh treatment at the hands of his new master. Telemach worked for VC for many years and assisted him in his trade. He was fluent in English, French, and Spanish, and often accompanied VC to Bermuda where VC had businesses. Now, after retirement, V.C. moved to Charleston, South Carolina, which was an affluent city and the center of rice and indigo plantation. Telemac worked as a carpenter with other enslaved people and freedmen while he was still enslaved to V.C. But in 1799, Telemac won $1,500 in the lottery. That's $33,133.66 in today's money. He used $600 of that to purchase his freedom from VC, And then he named himself Denmark VC after obtaining his freedom and set up a business as a carpenter. He then married an enslaved woman whose freedom he tried to buy from her master, but the master refused to sell her. Now, they had children together, but according to the law, children born to an enslaved woman would also be considered slaves. So this man... He was prevented from buying the freedom of his wife and therefore uh, prevented from obtaining the freedom of his children. So Denmark Vesey belonged to the Second Presbyterian Church. But in 1818, he founded his own congregation called the Bethel Circuit of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, which was the first independent African church in the United States. It was shut down twice by the authorities, as many officials feared that the enslaved were learning to read and write which, of course, was prohibited under the slave code. Now, when the Haitian Revolution took place, many enslaved and free people of color fled from Haiti to Charleston to seek refuge from the war. This increased the African population in the city. And, an, and another contributing factor was the reopening of ports for the slave trade. You see, between 1800 and 1808, about 50,000 Africans were kidnapped and brought into the United States through Charleston from the continent, primarily by cotton planters who needed laborers. In 1820, Denmark Vesey, who was a popular leader and an authority figure in his church, began to plan a revolt against the city officials. His well-established business gave him the funds he needed to finance his plan. His church congregation represented more than 10% of the African population of the city, and he garnered support from everyone he could find. V.C. held many secret meetings and decided to launch the rebellion on July 14th, which would have been yesterday's date, but in 1822, in honor of Bastille Day for the French Revolution. But, but he changed it to June 16th, earlier date, fearing the word of the revolt would leak out. This was largely due to two slaves named George Wilson and Joe LaRoche, who were opposed to the idea. They were opposed to to getting their own freedom. You know anybody like that? Hmm. They even testified against VC and the other labor uh, other leaders, prompting the mayor of the city to launch an offensive against them. Many suspects were arrested, questioned, and some of them were sentenced to death. This included Denmark VC, who was 55 years old at the time. If the revolt had been successful, it would have been the largest freedom uprising at that time or the largest freedom uprising in the United States history. Nevertheless, Denmark Vesey was the first one to plan an uprising of this scale and nature. 
more than 1,000 free and enslaved Africans were reported to have been a part of this plan. And it is a tragic reality that they are always traitors and sambos who would prefer to curry favor with the enemy as opposed to fighting for their own freedom and the freedom of their people. Hmm. All right. Again, I would like to acknowledge our new sponsor, God J Fashion LLC. Mrs. Juliana Gabetto, who I call Miss Julie, provided this very good looking shirt that has the barber looking most splendiferous, I must say, if I do say so myself. Inshallah, I'm going to list her contact down in the, in, in the comment section. Now, if you live in the DMV, you can call her and stop by and experience her fantastic collection. And I do mean fantastic. Now, she is currently working on a website that will make it easier for those of you who live outside the DMV. When I say the DMV, if you don't, you don't know, we're talking about D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, uh, which includes Baltimore. All right? So if you live in this area, you can get in contact with her. If you live outside of this area, the website should be up soon so you can, again, make some purchases. Or even if you live outside the country for that matter. So, you know, you can go ahead and give her a call and there may be some type of arrangements to have this stuff shipped to you. I'm sure you can work that out with Miss Julie. All right? Good. A very big thank you to all of our subscribers who continue to support this channel. To those of you who have not yet subscribed, this is a great time to hit that subscribe button just below the screen and lend us your much needed support. Please like and leave a comment down in the comment section below. But most importantly, please share, especially with the young amongst us. Because as you and I both know, hmm, this material is not taught in our schools. So, until tomorrow, inshallah, this is Baba Shaka with Today in African History. Masalam.